As soon as you enter the guild woods, take the path to the right, and on the right hand side there'll be a fishing spot which has the silver key. <laughs> Entering lookout point from the hero's guild, if you head forward towards the middle of the area, and then if you head to the left hand side and cut down the thorns, down the end of the path will be the silver key. In Fisher Creek, your first key will be gotten through the fishing competition quest by handing a fish that weighs 30 G or over to the fisherman. Um, heavy fish can be found in weird and remote places. I would recommend going to the Chapel of Scorm and fishing over the rail within the chapel itself. Once you hand in the fish, you'll also get the Rod of Champions which will help a lot in getting the rest of these keys. For your second key in Fisher Creek, if you head around the back of the fisherman's hut, It'll be the middle fishing spot. <laughs> Entering Greatwood Lake from Greatwood Entrance, if you head up to the right hand side, up this hill, Silver Key is going to be at the end. Entering Orchard Farm from Greatwood Lake, if you head forward and past the barn, you're wanting to follow this path on the right hand side. Now if you keep following the path, continue in following it across the wooden bridge, and right at the end of the pier will be a fishing spot with the silver key. <laughs> At Rose Cottage, head forward and then up the hill as if you're heading towards the cottage, except if you go to your left, There'll be a ring of roses on the ground. If you dig in this spot, you'll get your key. In the focus chamber within the Hob Cave, if you head down the stairs and then keep to your right, there'll be an area on the right hand side lit up with a ring of mushrooms in it. Dig in between the mushrooms to get the key. Entering Darkwood Lake from Darkwood Marshes, if you head down the path and then go straight ahead, on the right hand side you'll notice a focus stone. If you use your bow and shoot into the hole at the top of that stone, the key will fall out. Alternatively, use one of the spells listed on the video. Entering the ancient colours gate from the Darkwood camp, you're wanting to head forward and across the first wooden bridge. Continue on forward until you reach the second wooden bridge. There'll be a fishing spot on the right hand side of that wooden bridge. Fish it to get the key. <laughs> At Grey House, if you head forward, continuing along the path, Instead of going to the house, if you go to your left, and then if you continue following the path around, on the left hand side will be a small pond with a fishing spot. Fish that spot to get the key. <laughs> in Oakvale, the key will be given by achieving a score between 150 and 249 in the quest Chicken Kicking competition. To get to that competition, if you head through the centre of town and go to your left, Head all the way up the path, and then when possible go to your right, and um, follow the path around down to the beach. You will have to have gotten rid of the ghost that stays down here for this quest to appear. Can I tempt you to so a few pointers, um, the kicking distance is affected by your strength pretty skill. Also the chickens do wander around as you will notice. Um, if you're struggling to get a chicken far enough back, make sure that they're as close to the line as possible. Also, taking a running kick to them does send them a lot further. Once you get between 150 and 249 points, you'll get the key. If you get the top prize, it won't give you the key, so it has to be the second prize that you aim for. The silver medal position. You've earned yourself a silver key! At Memorial Gardens, dig underneath the axe of the statue in the middle of the area.
Entering the first area of Twin Blades Camp, if you head down the ramp, head straight ahead as soon as you've left the ramp, past the hired mercenary and through the water. You'll find a tree, underneath that tree will be a chest and a ring of roses, dig in between the roses to get the key. Entering Witchwood Stones from Witchwood Colus Gate, on the left hand side you'll find a small pond with a fishing spot. Fish that spot to get the key. Entering Witchwood Lake from the Temple of Avo, if you head forwards and then go to your left, straight ahead of you you'll notice a statue lit up in red, if you dig directly in front of that you'll get your key. In Knothole Glade, head through the town as if you're heading towards the Chieftain's Hut. Once you've passed the pub, on the left hand side you'll see two houses. If you go in between those houses, there'll be a ring of ferns, dig in between the ferns to get your key. On entering Bowerstone South from Lookout Point, if you go into the first building on your left hand side and then go up the stairs, go into the balcony to find the key. The second key will be given after completing the quest book collection. All required books will be listed on screen now. I would recommend starting off in the most obvious places, such as the Heroes Guild Library and even the dorm. After that, start heading into the houses and all the towns. But once you've finally collected all the books, if you head up to the school in Bowerstone South and then hand them into the teacher, he'll give you the key. And found this. Entering Bowerstone North from Bowerstone South, you're wanting to head into the Mayor's Mansion. This requires either Quest Mayor's Invitation or Investigating the Mayor. Now if you make your way through the mansion to Lady Grey's bedroom. Once you're in there, search the bed for the key. Entering Windmill Hill from Bowerstone Jail, you're wanting to go up the hill. And then go left once you see the building on the left hand side. Then go left again into the small field and dig in the circle of roses to get the key. For the second key, if you exit the field and then continue on up the hill. Then go to your right and head behind the windmill. There'll be a ring of roses. If you dig in the middle, you'll get the next key. Entering Hedman's Hill from Windmill Hill, you're wanting to go into the Demon Door on the left hand side which requires the quest Mayor's Invitation. Once inside, go into the middle of the area and fish in the small body of water for the key. <laughs> in Lichfield Graveyard, head through the main gates and go to your left. There'll be a broken wall directly in front of you. Fish for the key. <laughs> for the second key, if you carry on following the path around, until you see this crypt on the left hand side. Go into the crypt and push open the sarcophagus for the key. For your third key, if you exit the crypt, go straight ahead and to your left you're wanting to dig in the middle grave of the Sutter family. Entering cliffside path from the underground tunnel, if you go to the path on the left, head up the hill. And as soon as you can, if you go left, you'll find a ring of mushrooms. If you dig in between these mushrooms, you'll get your key. And Hook goes from the Culls Gate if you head down the hill and then head towards the lighthouse. And then if you break down the door and search the cupboard on the left hand side for the key. Entering the Lost Bay from the pier, if you go to your right, past the broken house, and then on the left hand side you'll see a grave, if you dig in that grave you'll get the key. On entering Necropolis, if you take the path on the right hand side, head all the way down until it flattens out and then go to your left before the bridge. Head forward as if you're going towards the demon door. Before you reach the demon door there'll be a gap in the wall to the right. Fish between that gap and the wall for the key. 
silver key chests. In the Heroes Guild, head towards the Demon Door. Just before you cross the final wooden bridge to the Demon Door, go to your left to get the silver key chest. When entering Greatwood Lake from Greatwood Entrance, head forward across the wooden bridge and to the left is the silver key chest. Starting at the Hob Cave Entrance, you're wanting to head towards the Cave Larder. That'll be the second door um, that you come across, it'll be on the left hand side. Once you're in there, go straight ahead to find the silver key chest. Entering Darkwood Lake from Darkwood Marshes, go down the hill and straight across and then go to your left whenever you can. Follow the path round to the right for the silver key chest. At the Grey House, head up the hill towards the house. Enter the house and go up to the second storey. The chest has got to be located at the far back right of the room. Entering Witchwood Cavern from Witchwood Stones, if you go to the back left of the cave will be your silver key chest. Entering Lady Grey's bedroom from Bowerstone North, the silver key chest located at the other side of the room. Heading through the Demon Door and Headman's Hill, which requires the Mayor's Invitation quest, go through into the cave, and at the back of the cave will be the silver key chest. Entering the Circle of the Dead from the Old Graveyard Path, go down the stairs and go to your left for the silver key chest. In Hook Coast, head towards the lighthouse, break open the door and then head up to the very top floor. On the top floor, follow all the way around for the silver key chest. From the Pier of the Lost Bay, go to your right. Continue following the snowy path all the way around. At the end of the path will be the silver key chest. When entering Necropolis, take the path on the right, head all the way down and across the stone bridge. Once you've crossed the stone bridge, go to your left, and on the ground on the left hand side will be the silver key chest. <laughs> 